founder of Coffee Cannon. The concept behind Coffee Cannon first occurred to me about 10 years ago when I was working with Army Special Operations and spending a bit of time around guns and drinking a lot of pod coffee. And it occurred to me that, that there was a lot of similarities between bullets and coffee pods and it would be a bit of fun to capitalise on those similarities and make a range of products that fed coffee pods as a gun would feed bullets. At that stage we were pretty busy operationally, I was spending a lot of time away and, and it was nothing but a thought that simmered away in the back of my mind for about the, the next 10 years. When I got out of the army I wanted to further my education and I, I went back to university and did a Master of Business Administration and through that process it, it opened my mind to a, a range of possibilities and this idea that I'd had in the back of my head for the, the coffee cannon concept started to, to come back to the forefront of my mind and I, I started to actually think seriously that, that this might be something that I could uh, actually move forward with. In my final subject for my Master of Business Administration, I did entrepreneurship and it was while I was doing that and learning more about the entrepreneurial process that it actually occurred to me that what had started as a, a seemingly silly idea to build this range of products, capitalising on the similarities between bullets and coffee pods, may actually be a viable business opportunity. And so I, I took the chance to, to really have a look at the market, to analyse the, the pod coffee market, which was growing exponentially at the time and, and was a, a billion dollar industry and look at its growth, look at the trajectories and the, and the projections, look at the range of, of pod coffee storage options available and it occurred to me that they were all very practical, very sensible, which is of course what most buyers want, but there was nothing there that was any fun. There was no novelty coffee pod dispensers if you like, it just didn't exist on the market. And so I started to look at, at this opportunity again and looking at that intersection between people who owned pod coffee machines and people who enjoyed guns and the novelty of, of having the two together, I began to see was, was potentially a viable business opportunity. The other thing that motivated me towards starting Coffee Cannon was, was the fact that when I moved out of the military, and spent less time around guns and, and weapons. I, I found that what I missed about that most was not the actual shooting itself, but it was the tactile experience of the, that went with shooting, the, the tactile experience of loading magazines, of feeding magazines into your rifle, of locking that in place, of, of actioning weapons, of pulling triggers, of, of changing magazines, of working bolts and bolt actions. That was that, that my hands had become used to it and they missed it. And so when I looked at, at Coffee Cannon again and looked at that potential market for a, a novelty pod machine dispenser, I, I started to think that if you could capture some of that tactile experience as well, it would, it would give it another angle that, that the gun lover that would be drawn to the, the pod pistol from an aesthetic perspective would also be able to recreate some of that tactile experience that, that I found I missed and I'm sure many shooters out there uh, enjoy as part of the shooting process. With the idea of replicating some of that tactile experience of operating weapons, we were very deliberate as we developed the coffee cannon pod pistol and, and we, we made sure that we, we'd replicated the magazine to be as similar as possible to loading up a rifle magazine, the exact same process, holding one pod down, feeding the next one in. Very deliberately had a very positive engagement click when you when you feed that magazine into the actual gun itself and then the bolt was designed to to replicate with a degree of resistance once again quite deliberately and then as you lock it down there's a bit of resistance there as well the trigger pressure you've got to take up the initial trigger pressure before it will click in action and and so we we've, we've gone through all of this to try and just recreate as best you can with a plastic device that experience of, of operating a, a real life uh, weapon, a tactile experience that I found I missed and, and I'm sure many shooters are the same. So there you go. That's the method behind the madness with the coffee cannon pod pistol. So for all of those uh, people out there who've asked why, that's why. And, uh, and I've, as I've said a number of times in other posts, 
those who get it get it and those who don't never will and that's fine it's very much uh, designed for a, a specific audience and you know who you are so look thank you for watching thank you for following the plan will be to move forward with this device in a crowdfund it in early 2020 so early 2020 look out for a crowdfunding campaign and we'll see if we can bring this thing to market all right cheers Bathe me in your love, rain down hell far from above now Say little bird take me home, yeah little bird take me home Fly untied away